Okay, so the standard filament sensor feature works on here, but I also got the unload working. So if I press this here, I'm going to press the button. And this is just hooked up on a second GPIO pin. I'm actually using the signal pin from the BL Touch header here. Got the other three pins connected to the material detect, which is the filament sensor. And you can see, now the filament is able to be unloaded. So there we go. See the light turn red, so the LEDs work. I'm going to go ahead and tell the printer I want to load the filament now. So I'm just going to shove it back through the feed tube here. We're just using a reverse, reverse Bowden. So you can see the filament there. And I told it on the screen to load it. So it should grab it back in a second here. I guess not. Let me clip it and try it again. I'm going to tell it to purge some more after I stick it back in. So there we go. Purge more. There it goes. And they do recommend that you use a reverse Bowden like this. So apparently that's what they call this. It's a reverse Bowden. Um, yeah, so it works like a regular filament sensor. It just also has an unload button if you don't want to use the unload button. You just don't hook up the yellow cable. So red is your 3.3 to 5 volts, black's your ground, and green is the regular filament sensor. So if you're using this with our firmware that actually already has the easy out sensor uh, supported, this uses the same logic. So you just got to make sure you connect the voltage ground and signal. So there's a quick little video of uh, the LDO filament sensor for the Orbiter V2, which we do carry. So there we go. Focus. There you go. No. Focus. There we go. So, all in all, I like it. This build's coming along nicely. So, there we go. Figuring stuff out and got some custom codes so the unload button works. Voila.